Yo, what's good kings and queens? It's your boy Don, and I'm back for another reaction video today. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and hit all so you know every time I post. If you're not new to the channel, you heard, thank you for popping back out. Thank you for continuously showing love, man. I really do appreciate it. Put your social medias down below so I can pin someone. Thank y'all, yo, yo, share the video, you heard. That's the biggest thing y'all could do for me is share the video to your other family members, your friends, everybody, you heard. So, you know, everybody can enjoy this as much as you and I, you heard. Today, y'all, we got a great video. We're going to be reacting to the secret tricks police officers use on you. So, y'all, we're going to be able to, like, figure a little bit of information out that we probably might not always know. Some things we probably heard of or whatever the case is. But, yo, if you don't know, you're going to learn today. Please let me know down in the comments which y'all learned, which one y'all, you know, respect the most, which one y'all don't mess with. Whatever y'all want to tell me in the comments. Talk to me nice, you heard? Other than that, let's get right into the video. Let's see what these officers be out here doing, man. It's touch the back of your car when they pull you over. Why should you always say no if a cop offers you a drink of water? And no, she offered him drugs. You find one of these on your car after talking with a cop. Welcome back. Charlie here. Today we're going to find out all the secrets that police don't want you to know. By the end of this video, you will know all of their tricks and how to avoid being arrested or pulled over ever again. Say First that. off, why do police always touch your trunk or tail light when they pull you over? There are actually two very good reasons why they do this. The first and main reason is it leaves their fingerprints and DNA on your car. That way, if anything bad happens to the cop during the stop, their DNA is on the car. A few years ago, a cop pulled over a Mexican cartel member. The cartel member then kidnapped the cop. The cartel member then drove off. Wow. But thankfully, the cop's DNA was found on the car. This was then used to free the cop and arrest the cartel member. The second reason they tap the car is to startle the driver. If the driver who's pulled over is trying to hide something, then the tap will scare them. This will give the police some more time to approach the car and see if the driver's nervous or not. Normally, cops can tell if you're trying to hide something because you'll be acting nervous. And a cop tapping on the back of your car will make you feel even more nervous. So really, it's a psychological trick police use on you. Now, let's say for some reason you get arrested. One thing that is bound to happen in the police station is cops will offer you a glass of water. You may be tempted to accept this drink, but you should always say no. That's because they just want to get your fingerprints and DNA. Unless they have evidence, DNA tests are optional and you can say no. But if you agree to taking a drink of water, then they have your DNA and fingerprints too. The glass of water is police property and that's why they're allowed to take your DNA from it. So be careful what you touch in a police station. Even if you're innocent, the DNA lab can be used against you. Now let's look at a police gadget they don't want you to know exists. If you find one of these on your car, then you're in big trouble. This is known as a star chase. A star chase is a new type of vehicle tagging system. It's basically a tracking system that police plant on your car. But they... It's crazy, right, yeah? Put, put it down in the comments if y'all didn't know any of this information so far i've heard of most of the information the last one i didn't know was that very last one um i this is my first time seeing it so if y'all first time seeing any of these please let me know down in the comments you heard if y'all learned something new other than that please hit that like button that subscribe button that notification bell show love you heard i appreciate y'all Let's get back into the video. See what's, what else they got to say. What else they talk about you. Uh, they don't even have to do it themselves. A star chase is actually shot at another car while you're driving. Right. Modern police cars have launchers built in. And these can shoot star chases onto your car. The front of a star chase has a very sticky adhesive on it. And the back side has a GPS transmitter. Once it's attached, police can monitor your vehicle and see anywhere it goes. They can do this in real time using a GPS map. Some criminals have found star chases on their cars and not known what they were. But by that time it was already too late and police had began swarming in. These Pretty star much. chases may look noticeable, but many people don't even realize when their car's been stuck with a star chase. 
And it said that police are working on smaller versions of these, which are much harder to see. Right. A few years back, someone on Reddit asked what it was when they found one on their car, only to find out that they'd been tagged by their local cops. Even if you're innocent, you'd better check your car for one of these. You never know, you might be being tracked and surveilled everywhere you go. The next trick cops use on you is lying. It may sound super simple, but many people don't realize police do this. There's a common misconception that it's illegal for police to lie. It's been popularized by films and movies, but it's totally untrue. Police can and will lie to you. If you lie to police, then you may go to prison. You may be found guilty of obstruction of justice. That is a felony which can land you in prison for many years. But police are totally allowed to lie to civilians. Undercover police don't even have to admit they're police. Right. Police can even lie and say they have evidence against you. They can even lie to you about why they're questioning you. In fact, many police say that lying is a key part of the job. And lying is also a big part of police training. That's right, they're literally taught how to lie in a convincing way. Many criminal Basically. lawyers say that you should never say anything which is not necessary to a cop. You should simply answer their questions with yes or no answers. But mm. there are some things which cops are not allowed to lie about. They're not allowed to lie about how the legal system works. And it's also not okay for them to say okay. they have a search warrant when they don't. It's okay. good for you to know these things in case you ever run into a corrupt cop. Another thing police don't know. Hopefully want you I don't know have to deal with this, your garbage you isn't really yours. It may sound strange, but it's one the of the best ways for police to get your DNA is using your garbage. You may think that police taking your garbage would be illegal. After all, it is your property, right? Well, that's not true. Legally, if your garbage is on your curb, then it's no longer yours. And it can become evidence against you. Police don't even need a warrant to look through or take your garbage. If you leave your trash anywhere outside your own home, then it's seen as you dumping it. It's now government property, which means the police can take it. So if you're throwing away something you don't want police to see, then don't leave it on the curb. Right. So we know that police can lie to you. But did you know they can also use fake tests to try and trick you? In the case of Police vs. Maze in 2009, police hooked up their suspect to a fake lie detector. They asked their questions and afterwards showed the suspect a fake graph. Even though the suspect passed the lie detector test, the cop said he did not. The suspect then admitted to being at the scene of the crime, thinking that he'd already been found out. But really, the police had no idea before the suspect told them. Now, let's look at a video wow. clip that I'm sure police don't want you to see. A YouTuber named ArcticFox95 found out the best way to hide from police. Oh, or anyone for that matter. As you can see, the man uses a piece of ductwork to quickly disguise himself as piping. Pretty I'm pretty much. sure no cop would spot you if you hid like this. This is a pretty genius tactic for hiding, but it means you'd have to carry around a piece of ductwork with you everywhere you went. Then again, if you are up to no good, maybe it's worth it. Right. Now, let's go to another thing that I'm sure police do not want you to know. That is that you do not have to stand on one leg if you're pulled over. Many think that if they get pulled over, they have to do a sobriety test. That is true in some ways, but you don't have to do what's known as a field sobriety test. Okay. That is where you stand on one leg, close your eyes and touch your nose, or even take a breathalyzer test. If you're pulled over for suspicion of driving under the influence, you don't have to do any of these things. In fact, many lawyers would advise that you don't. If you refuse to do these things, you'll have to do a your blood DNA, test. Right. But blood tests are often more accurate. So if right. you really haven't been drinking or doing drugs, then you have nothing to worry about. Yep. You should refuse to do a field sobriety test and instead request a blood test. After all, sometimes people with bad balance fail the field sobriety tests. They're then taken to a police station where a blood test proves their innocence. So it may be easier to simply get it out of the way right then and there. Yep. That way you don't have to spend a night in a police station. Now let's look at one more final trick police don't want you to know they have at their disposal. Oh, this right. is a new surveillance gadget named the Nano Hummingbird. We all know that police now use drones to track criminals. Drones are easy to see. 
Thirdly, the nano hummingbird is so small, it's nearly invisible. This tiny device was made by DARPA and the US military. It is used by police to track and surveil criminals. If you saw it, you may assume it's simply a bird. But right. really, it's a police robot. It sounds like something from a creepy dystopian movie. But this tech really exists right now. But now it's time for you to make your voice it's heard. Cool, but... Comment below which was the most sneaky trick in this video. Yeah, man. Comment below which one was the most sneakiest police trick that y'all think. Um... I think they all sneaky, honestly, but you got to have your tactics because sometimes, a lot of times people lie and they really make themselves believe, just like he said with the test. Not really sure if he won or not, but that's crazy. Like, you could lie so well that you could pass the test and then still get found out after, after actually not really being caught and being finessed into it. It's crazy, man. Y'all be careful out there. Hopefully none of these things have to occur with y'all. Please hit that like button for safety, you heard. Please hit that subscribe button for love. And then, you know, please also share the video for peace, you heard. Appreciate y'all for popping out. All my social media is there. Please follow me, you heard. I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Peace. Love. Dong.